Hi, I'm Jean Jennings. I'm at Automobile Magazine's headquarters at 120 East Liberty in Ann Arbor, Michigan. You might be able to see that snow blowing sideways out here. But if you notice, everyone is here because we're working on the March issue. But I'm here to talk about February, our all-star issue, which is just hitting the newsstand. So let's go talk about it. Our February issue, our all-star issue, represents the dream garage for all of us at Automobile Magazine. So they're not the, the 10 best cars in America, and they're not, you know, the 10 most expensive. They're a perfect fleet of cars that would satisfy all of us. If we picked 10 Ferraris and Bentleys and Astons and, you know, all supercars, we would look like 10-year-old boys. So at Automobile Magazine, we try to pick all-stars, our all-star fleet, to cover a variety of needs from entry-level cars, family haulers, um, sedans, sports cars, and in the end we have a very well-rounded group of our favorite cars for sale in America. The current crisis in Detroit had no bearing on our picks. We did not just choose these cars for the February issue. We tested these cars last October and I will tell you we did not have to look far to find cars in Detroit to make our list. One-third of these ten cars come from Detroit. Two of those cars come from one manufacturer, and that's Chevrolet. This is the second year in a row Chevy's the only manufacturer that got two out of the ten awards. It's not a surprise to enthusiasts that the Corvette was one of them. We love Corvette. You know, the Corvettes won, I think, eight All-Stars, and in 2001, it was even our Automobile of the Year. This is a car that is fantastic. I mean, it holds its own against all the supercars in the world. It is a, just a wonderful vehicle. The big surprise was Malibu when we drove it, we found and wrote that it was more fun to drive than a Camry and it looked better than an Accord. We love that Malibu and so does America. The Honda Fit is our entry level vehicle, $15,000, probably the least expensive of our all-stars. It is the master of space utilization. You get in that car, you can turn, flip, spin, you can get all those seats flat and it's just amazing. In addition to that, it looks cool and it feels kind of funky when you drive it. So we like it. Speaking of flexible, the Ford Flex, which is a brand new people mover from Ford, comes in at just about 28000 base price and it is the class act among people movers. When we first saw it, it reminded us of a Woody, you know, an old Woody. It has like these really cool kind of lines down the side of it. A little bit polarizing um, to see, but when you get inside, I think everyone understands how great this car looks. It has a big glass roofs, very panoramic inside, can hold six or seven, fridge in the back, the sink navigation system in the front, and it is beautifully, beautifully tailored. More at the top of our list is the Porsche 911. Now, it has won All-Stars years and years and years, sometimes as the 911 Turbo, 911 this. This year, it's been, in, been around for 44 years. So this year, we give an All-Star to the whole lineup. And it ranges from about 76 or 7,000 to just under 200,000. That'd be my favorite one. That's the really, really fast one. But you can get, you know, in every version, glass top, targas, and convertibles, but it is sublime, delicious. Every, everything about it rewards true enthusiast drivers. That was only half of our 10 All-Stars. If you want to read about the other five, there are two places you can do that, either automobilemag.com or you can pick up the February issue on the newsstand. And if you do, you'll find some other pretty cool stories in here. We have a review of the new Mazda 3. We have pictures and information on the new Porsche Panamera four-door. And we have the 2010 Mustang and a killer story about Scott Speed. Is he too nuts for NASCAR? Pick it up on the newsstand.